Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Go see Muffin. <laughs> oh, that was rude. Everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Bed Island. Dante, where? Dante, where's your head? Oh, well, there you are. There's my doggo. Welcome to Bed Island, where it is an ambient 14 degrees, and that is t-shirt weather here in Canada. Uh, I'm on Vancouver Island, Canada, here in BC, and our island, which has a population. Oh my God! There is a mouse. Muffin. Muffin. There's a mouse outside. Do something! Dante, come inside. Come inside, quickly, Dante. Quickly, quickly, the mouse outside. Come on. Get safe inside. Gross. Ugh. So like I said, I live on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada, population of like 850,000 or something like that. And um, currently we have not had any COVID-19 cases for almost three weeks now. We have been like all social distancing, all, virtually all of our stores um, have like all the arrows, all those precautions. So because of all of these strict measures and such, that's why, you know, our island, we're not forced and mandated, you know, to wear a mask. And I do not wear a mask when I go to the grocery store. I understand in lots of areas around Canada and the US and such, you know, it's bad there. I would definitely be wearing a mask. Dante, do you want to say anything? Okay, I think I think Dante's dead. Okay, thanks Dante for your opinion. In today's video, I was hoping to be a little more adventurous and go out to a thrift store today. Virtually all of our thrift stores are closed. There's only maybe like a few that are open. I only know really that Value Village is open. Our Salvation Army thrift stores are closed. Our hospital auxiliary stores are closed. But because I am going to a thrift store today, um, I will actually be wearing a mask. Thank you, Lori, very much for the amazing pink flamingo mask. So I'm gonna treat this Value Village trip like a freaking, you know, toy show, an annual toy show. I will just take care of Muffin and Dante before I go. They absolutely love listening to Pipples and Parolees. Well, I don't know if they do, but I just feel like they do. Do, so I'll put that on for them. Are you gonna miss mama while she's gone? Are you gonna miss me while I'm gone? Mm. Okay, there you go, Pipples and Pipples. It's just for the doggo. Catch that mostly while I'm gone, okay? Okay, got my hand sanny, got my beautiful flamingo mask. So let's go. I think I've ever been so excited to go to Value Village than I am right now. Who knows what there could be? Goodies, treasure troves, people getting rid of their collections, purging of, you know, their summer, summer cleanup and spring cleanup. So let's see. Let's see what treasures await. Ah! Watch me get into like a car accident before I can even get there. I feel like a Mortal Kombat character or like Bane. My name is Bane.
Okay, I'm back. Little hand sanity. Man, that place was super packed. Okay, so there was essentially nada there, like in terms of their toys and collectibles, like that section, it's very, very small. So I didn't really expect to get anything that great there considering, you know, this is like a Canadian I, small city island thrift shop. Like we don't really get that big of a turnover. So I spent about $20 Canadian altogether on these items. I would have liked to maybe spend $5 altogether. I think this was very overpriced, but I really just wanted to like, get something uh, from that from that store. So I did pick up a few things that I maybe wouldn't have picked up normally, but I did get this Hey Arnold bobble, bobble head. Um, it's pretty cool. Apparently it's like a movie promo back in the day. Probably end up like just selling it or something on eBay. Picking up a copy of The Hunter for Red October by Tom Clancy. I have watched this movie adaptation so many times, so I thought it'd be nice to kind of read the source material finally by Tom Clancy. Um, next up, I got another book. It is um, Game of Thrones, 100 Things to Do on the Loo. So it's like a whole bunch of things in here, like um, puzzles, jokes, um, all these like sort of activities. And it's all brand new, it hasn't even been used. So I think this is gonna be a really fun thing. I think there's even like toilet paper origami in here or something. So this looks like just a really fun um, book to have, you know, in your bathroom. And then the last two things that I got were movies. I got The Lost World Jurassic Park, that kind of foil cover. My favorite thing that I got, and I was so excited to see it, um, is this original VHS of Willow. I was so incredibly happy to to find this. This definitely redeemed my whole thrift trip and actually just by getting this item alone I feel like the whole trip was worth it because this is such a cool collector's piece if you are a Willow fanatic which I am. Absolutely love Willow. Um, so yeah absolutely worth it. So I'm gonna go grab some food right now because I feel like I'm getting very hangry and easily irritated. Like my threshold of like irritation is like so low like I will get irritated at anything right now. So incredibly jealous of all those people that are like oh look what I found at the thrift store. Look what I found at the thrift store. It's like I never find anything at the thrift store. Like I can't even remember the last time I found something like amazing at the thrift store, but I'm I'm okay with today's haul. I mean, I know it was a small piddly haul, but let's just say it was a it was a modest haul, okay? That that willow really redeemed um the trip. If I didn't find that, I'd be like, oh, this was not this was not worth the trip. Shake. Good ow, shake. Good boy. Yeah, pop, shake. Yes, good boy. Oh. Hugs! Hugs! Oh, but he tried to give hugs. He tried to give me a hug, but he almost killed me. So Dante and I would like to know, how is the situation with your local thrift stores and thrift shops? Do you guys have flea markets open? Do you have swap shops open? Are your thrift stores open? I did a little drive-by of some of the other thrift stores that I know of in the city, and they were actually closed as well. Oh yeah, and they were actually closed too. So really there's only like maybe two, maybe thrift stores like open in my entire city. So slim pickings here. What's your favorite item that we got today, Muffin? Is it nothing? Oh, what a grumpy muffin. What a grumpy muffin. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Pow, pow.